The all-new Laurel Park is beyond your expectations. Feel the anticipation. This long shot comes over. Witness the speed. Experience the thrill. Hi, Laurel Park Racing fans. The replays from our first racing day of the week coming up for Thursday, November 29th in just a few moments. A reminder about our racing post-time schedule coming up this week at Laurel Park and a post-time change Friday, first of all, for our Stronic 5 Pick 5 day. The post-time will be at 12 noon. Noon post-time with an $88,189 carryover in the Stronic 5. Laurel Park will be a major part of that Stronic 5. Five races from the Stronic tracks across America. A national wager, and we'll have three of the races in the Stronic Five, our 8th, 9th, and 10th on Friday afternoon. And beginning Saturday, post time is 12.15. 12.15, new post time here at Laurel Park as we roll into the month of December. Let's take a look at the action from Thursday afternoon. Nine races on the card. The track is fast for the Thursday program. Here's the opener, the first leg of that early pick five. And they're off weekends for work. One to two favorite broke last. From the rail Sunday, Red Rosa Wire with that usual early speed, Kentucky Smooth and Caden Lillian hustled forward to the outside within three of the front and weekends for work and Chausse Blanche is last and well off that rail, racing a bit greenly, the back of the pack, some nine lengths off the pace up ahead. Sunday right into the turn, three quarters of a length from Rosa Rye in second, Kentucky Smooth third and Caden Lillian on the outside in fourth. Another two lengths awkward step there for weekends for work who took an awkward step. Ryder maybe out of the arms temporarily there, now back in the irons with two and a half furlongs left to go and Chausset Blanche is outrun the opening quarter went in 22.11 they're at the top of the stretch making the turn in Sunday Red is the leader Rosa out of the attack on the outside out of the inside is Kentucky Smooth is coming through now Kentucky Smooth with the rail run into the stretch the half 46.36 they've got a furlong left to go and it's Rosa Rye trying to hold sway Rosa Rye in front from Kentucky Smooth out of the inside giving it a game go and coming little by little Kentucky Smooth on the inside Kentucky Smooth just in front. Kentucky Smooth and Alex Central up the rail from Rosary. Another five Sunday red. Weekends for work and Kate and Lillian. One turn mile. They're in the gate. And they're off. Folk Magic off a sharp beginning. Folk Magic to the front. Up on the inside, Miss Nosy quickly picking up. And Shikor and Don's Escapade the far outside. Bad Nana will settle back in fifth. If followed by Child's Play, and last is Shifra, Magician. Eight or nine lengths will cover the field. About six and a half furlongs left to go. Folk Magic up top from Miss Nosy, who's taken back second on the inside. Shikor third, Don's Escapade fourth, length and a half more. Bad Nana's got five to make up on the front runner now, and second last position is Child's Play, and Shifra, Magician is still seventh and last. Opening quarter in 24.35.
Charging now with four and one half for a long left to go. It's Folk Magic and Angel Suarez. Nursing that one along in the lead. Miss Nosy now taking the two path the outside, trying to put some pressure on that leader. Five or six more lengths. She core bad Nana. Don's escapade. Back to Child's Play. Shiffer Magician still last of all. Folk Magic in a 46.90 half mile. And now three for longs left to go to the second finish line. Leads it still three quarters of a length from Miss Nosy. Full out in second. Another six and bad Nana's trying to close in on the speed from third. Third, Shikor is fourth into the stretch with a quarter of a mile left to go. And it's Folk Magic asks the question, pops away by four lengths from Miss Nosy second, Bad Nana third, Shikor fourth, six and one eleven point one seven, and just about a furlong left to go. And it is Folk Magic hanging on, Bad Nana, Bad Nana on the outside, Bad Nana coming, Folk Magic in front of the 16th pole. It's Folk Magic holding off Bad Nana, Shikor third, Folk Magic, Bad Nana. It's going to be Folk Magic all the way. From Bad Nana, then Shikor. And they're off. Generalist and Money Meister Jericho Marsh is right up there, too. The outside is Bay Hill. Settle back in four. Sidewalk Profit. And So Good is the last runner. So Good trailing now. And about six lengths from the pace. So leading the way is Generalist. Generalist leads by about a neck. On the outside is Money Meister second, putting mild pressure on. Bay Hill out in the clear in third, and Jericho Marsh to the inside. Sidewalk Profit is only four and a half from the front, and so good in the back on the outside of that one. 24.38, the opening two furlongs. Generalist at an even clip slows it right on down from Money Meister, who's second about three quarters of a length behind now, and Jericho Marsh is in third. Bay Hill on the outside is racing in fourth position, and so good, and Sidewalk Profit still in the back. And they're about six to close in into the far turn. Generalist with Money Meister on the outside now getting ahead in front after a 47.36 half mile. Money Meister's in front from Generalist by a neck, and Bay Hill is looming up there three wide. And so good as asked to kick very wide from the back and sidewalk profit. And Jericho marched out of the inside trailing the field. Top of the stretch with a quarter of a mile left to go. Money Meister sent along, pops away to a two length lead from Bay Hill on the outside. Even farther out is so good, way out of the middle, and sidewalk profit down to the inside. Six in a minute, 12.32. Four almost in a line with a furlong left to go. And it's Money Meister, Sidewalk Profit charging up on the inside. Sidewalk Profit now a hit in front with a 16th to go from Money Meister. It's going to be Sidewalk Profit and Money Meister. Sidewalk Profit, Money Meister fight. Sidewalk Profit from Money Meister. Maybe so good third. And they're off. 
She's a chance to down to the inside and sine wave, sine wave just in front her lay. Sine waves in front from in between is timeless curls in second isotope on the outside right there. Lady by choice, she's a chance to after sharp break a settle back in fifth. About three and a half from the front, then trace of grace of the two path. Imply racing back of the pack out there three deep and Los Mimi is last of them all. Seven lengths will cover them with sine wave leading the way by ahead from Lady by choice on the outside. 23.23 the opening two for long, so it's sine wave wave making the fractions. Sine waves in front, heading past the half mile pole from Lady by Choice in second spot. On the outside now, Isotope, the inside is She's a Chance to Timeless Curls right there in between horses racing in fifth. Another two, Imply has about five to make up with three furlongs left to go, and then Trace of Grace and Luz Mimi is last. A half mile in 46.41, racing toward the quarter pole now, and it's Lady by Choice getting in front from Sine Wave who battles hard on the inside. Isotope driven to the far outside, She's a Chance to just in behind them racing fourth. Timeless curls right there. And the yellow silks, the far outside is Imply who's got to get going for the final furlong. It's Lady by Choice in front. Sine Wave is willing on the inside. Timeless curls barging through between horses on the outside. Isotope, four chances, maybe five as Trace of Grace is coming on the far outside. Four way go. Timeless curls wins. Timeless curls from Isotope, maybe Lady by Choice, and then it was Trace of Grace. Minute twenty two point seven. And they're off. The weekend asked for early speed, finding perfection to the far outside gate. Majestic on with a solid beginning early speed, too. She rolls in between horses. Adios Annie is next as they move an opening for a long and a half. Settling there is Gotham Gala, about five lengths from the front. And to the outside is DJ's favorite as they charge on with a far turn run, led by Le Weekend. Le Weekend punching out the fractions from Adios Annie by about a length or so. And the inside is Majestic one third. Just ahead and the outside of finding perfection is racing in fourth position. Position. Conjecture is next in between horses as DJ's favorite. Yes to the dress is ridden along down to the inside. Gotham Gellis in between horses. She rolls just in behind that group. If I was a boy, Robin's destiny. And Phantom shot his last as they passed the quarter pole. Half in 45.02. Top of the stretch at the 316s. And Le Weekend's trying to stay on out of the inside from Adios Annie. Majestic one shifted toward the center of the track, running a bit from third position with a furlong left to go. And it's Gotham Gala, DJ's favor of the far outside. Adios Annie grabs the lead. Majestic one on the outside surging. Adios Annie. Adios Annie. Majestic one. And the weekend. Gotham Gilla. And Phantom Shot. Time a minute. 9.5.
and they're off. Two dozen roses set out with the lead. 15K up there on the outside on the chase early. Get out of my way now, moving forward to take an hour lead. Get out of my way from two dozen roses about a length. Then better yet is in third. 15K will settle back and take it back in fourth spot. Then gotta be strong and wicked awesome. Last of the outside, the two path with seven eighths of a mile left to go. Get out of my way in front, three quarters of a length from two dozen roses. And better yet, keeping close tabs in third position, just two off the lead. 15K is in fourth and a gap of two and gotta be strong and wicked awesome is trailing six lengths front to back the opening quarter 24.49 it's get out of my way nursed along up front gets away from two dozen roses by a length and a half and better yet is in third 15k gotta be strong on the inside and wicked awesome the back Heading on for the far turn with four and a half furlongs left to go. And it's still get out of my way. Get out of my way. Showing the way in a 48.95 half mile. Leads about two lengths from two dozen roses. Has been in pursuit throughout. Then better yet is third and 15K. And got to be strong on the inside. And wicked awesome is trailing. Three eighths of a mile and get out of my way. Get out of my way. Kicks away to a three length lead. Is better yet. Rolls up on the inside. Taking second from two dozen roses. Another two. Got to be strong and wicked awesome and 15k tails off to trail the field top of the stretch they make the turn for home get out of my way the leader by three lengths from better yet now by four from better yet on the middle is wicked awesome as two dozen roses is in between horses and so is gotta be strong in that second flight with a furlong left to go get out of my way leads them pretty much all the way get out of my way and angel arroyo coming home to win by by five maybe six lengths at the finish gotta be strong two dozen roses wicked awesome better yet. Three and a photo. Time one minute forty four. And there, uh, Red Gum broke a bit inward at the start. Offrey can't refuse in the back of the pack. Belmont ride with a sharp break. Rafter on the outside and Red Gum stoking up early speed. And Bill Mullet is just off the trio out of the shoot and onto the main portion of the track. Bear Trap Snidely races far outside. Offrey can't refuse and Dynamic Kid. And Love the Painter is trailing well off the inside. Love the Painter last about 18 off the pace and a three way go up front. So it's Red Gum, Belmont right in between horses and Rafter on the outside. And just chasing him now from three or four off the lead is Bell Mullet as Bear Trap moves through to the inside. Offer he can't refuse is now seven to make up heading for the turn. Dynamic Kid, air fall by Snidely and Love the Painter is last of them all. About a dozen from the front. Opening quarter, 23.79 into the far turn, the half in 46. Point ninety three. So around that turn, Rafter on the outside and Belmont ride the gray, the favorite down to the inside. It's another two and Red Gums backed off with him and Bear Trap is in fourth position. Another two and a half offer. He can't refuse down to the inside. He's got a fighting chance too. And they are followed by Bell Mullet into the stretch now. Red Gum. Red Gum surging up on the outside to the lead with a quarter of a mile to go after six and a minute, 12.56. And Red Gum, Red Gum takes off under a drive by five from Bear Trap Offer. He can't refuse to the inside. Then it's Rafter with a furlong left to run. Johan Rosado and Red Gum. Red Gum kept a task with a five length lead. Offer he can't refuse. Then Bear Trap. They're followed far back by Snidely Dynamic Kid. It's going to be Red Gum. Offer he can't refuse. Then Bear Trap Snidely.
they are in the gate and they're off Federal Walk with that early speed. Federal Walk is trying to clear to the turn and run. Hail Statement came away second, and Copper Wired out of the inside in third. Here's Fifth Thief racing along in fourth, and Whirl and Curl in the favorite is fifth. Five lengths on the front, ticker tape paraded between horses. Patriotic Quest racing three wide around that turn. Back to no drinking rules, settled to the back of the pack, and Bobby Alex's gold mark is the last runner about 13 off the speed up ahead. Federal Walk showing the way. Federal Walk out there about three quarters of a length from Copper Wired and Second, fifth thief, the far outside is Patriotic Quest. Patriotic Quest, the one widest of them all. Gap of a length and a half, Whirlin, Curlin riding the inside, and Ticker Tape Parade is next. And the outside, now Hale Statement is dropping a bit. Another two back to no drinking rules, has eight lengths to make up on Federal Walk, the front runner, and Bobby Alex's gold mark trailing. Opening two furlongs, 23.45. The half and 46.65. Federal Walk trying to take them all the way out there, a length and a half. And here's Whirlin, Curlin in second. And the outside fifth thief ridden long for a little more in third position. Another two and ticker tape parade is in fourth. Copper Wired is next in fifth. The others have to get going, improving a bit for the back of the pack. Bobby Alex's gold mark is just past one. No drinking rules. Legs back there as well down to the inside. They're racing to the top of the stretch now. Whirlin Curlin driving up on the outside. A federal walk to put that head in front. A gap of six. And ticker tape parade. Copper Wired down to the inside. And they're followed by fifth thief. A furlong left to go. And Whirlin Curlin. Curlin getting it done under George Vargas. Whirlin Curlin in front. Whirlin Curlin length and half from a game. Federal Walk is switching to the outside with a 16th left to run. But it's Whirlin Curlin too much for them. Whirlin Curlin to win. A win by three and a half from Federal Walk and Copper Wired. And it was no drinking at rules. And Hale Statement. And they're off. Elination on the inside, 216 early speed, two swing on the outside, and Clover Bottom is right up close to just a couple of lengths off the lead. Molly's Dolly is racing along in fifth position, and it's Mia Gift, and the outside is Tuffy's Way, and Holly's Lady's out kicked, racing a bit wide off that rail. Holly's Lady about seven lengths off the speed up ahead of 216, who's taken the lead outright from Elination by a length and a half. 216 into the turn and a 22.47 opening quarter mile. Elination a length and a half behind in second underway is Mia Gift out of the inside. The outside is Tuppy's Way, who's racing in fourth. Now Holly's Lady, the far outside, is getting going from the back of the pack now. They're top of the stretch with a quarter of a mile left to go. And it is 2.16 by a half length from Ella Nation. Mia Gift switching out three or four deep. Widest of them all is Tuppy's Way into the stretch after a half in 46.60. And showing the way now, Ella Nation on the outside gets that head in front. 2.16, tough and determined on the inside. 2.16, Ella Nation. Elanation are 216. Three lengths back to Mia Gift in third, a 16th to go. Caramanos and Elanation, 216 and Ruiz. Photo up and down, Elanation. And 216 in the photo. Mia Gift was third. Holly's Lady with some interest there in fourth and Tuffy's Way.
That's a wrap for the Thursday program. Remember, post time on Friday will be 12 noon. Play the Stronic 5 with an $88,000 carryover. It's a dollar minimum wager, 12% take out of the Stronic 5. Laurel Park will have three races of the five in the Stronic Pick 5, our final three, 8th, 9th, and 10th, on Friday afternoon with a noon post time. Starting Saturday, post time will be 12.15. And Saturday, it's Bring a Gift, Get a Gift Day as we roll into the month of December here at Laurel Park. Bring a gift, get a gift day here at Laurel Park. Bring a gift, unwrapped uh, toy, uh, no stuffed animals, please, and that'll go to the Maryland Horseman's Assistance Foundation, and you'll get to pick out an item from our table here. You can get a gift from the Maryland Jockey Club. And on uh, Saturday, December 8th, our Giving Tree Breakfast with Santa and 2019 calendar giveaway on Saturday, December 8th. More details, laurelpark.com, or follow us on social media at Laurel Park on Twitter. You'll be up to date on all the news and information. We'll see you Friday with a Stronic 5 carryover of more than $88,000 and a 12 noon post time on Friday.